Hi students, um, today we are working on a reading lesson to go along with week five of our summer distance English practice. Um, this reading is for the morning class, so it is at a slightly higher difficulty level. Um, if you are following along and finding this is too difficult of vocabulary, jump over to the afternoon class reading, which is a lower difficulty level. Um, listen to that story, listen to that vocabulary, and then come back to push yourself with this more difficult reading. As always, when there are new vocabulary words, you should be practicing putting them into sentences, put them in context, ask me any questions in the comments under the video, and if you are trying to improve pronunciation, use your mobile device to record yourself speaking the new vocabulary word, listen to me, listen to yourself, and make that comparison. So let's jump into this story. This story is called Engineers Aim to Build Trust Between Driverless Cars and Pedestrians. This is a little bit of an older story. It was published in September, September 10th, 2018 by the newspaper, The Washington Post. Building self-driving cars is very difficult. The biggest challenge, though, has little to do with fancy computers or cutting-edge technology. Instead, companies must engineer something much less concrete, but no less important. They need to recreate the human trust that is communicated when human drivers and pedestrians make eye contact at a crosswalk. Surveys indicate that large portions of the public harbor deep reservations about the safety of self-driving technology. In response, car companies like Jaguar Land Rover have hired psychologists to help them. The psychologists are experts in human behavior. They are studying how vehicle behavior affects human confidence in new technology, the company said. The psychologist's solution is virtual eyes. They are large and cartoonish, like the plastic goggly eyes used in art project. The eyes have been fitted to self-driving vehicles known as intelligent pods. Devised by a team of engineers, the eyes seek out nearby pedestrians before looking directly at them. The gesture signals that the vehicle sees the pedestrian and plans to remain stationary so they can pass, the company said. It's all in the eyes. The engineers recorded the human subjects' trust levels before and after they interacted with the pods. They wanted to determine whether the subjects experienced high enough levels of confidence. So far, more than 500 people have been observed interacting with the expressive vehicles. However, the company has not released details about the interactions. It's second nature to glance at the driver of the approaching vehicle before stepping into the road, Pete Bennett said in a statement. He helps develop new transportation technologies at Jaguar Land Rover. Understanding how this translates in tomorrow's more automated world is important. Other companies have applied eyes to robots as well. The industrial robot Baxter has a tablet-like face with eyes. The eyes communicate the robot's intentions to nearby human workers, such as concentration when the machine is working or sadness when it is broken. People are uneasy about not only interacting with, but riding inside self-driving vehicles. The American Automobile Association, or AAA, researches roads and accidents in the country. It ran studies about people's attitudes toward riding in driverless vehicles. The group found that 63% of U.S. drivers are afraid to ride in a fully self-driving vehicle, down from 78% a year earlier. Wary of giving control to a machine. Male drivers and younger adults trust the new technology the most, with only half of them reporting a fear of riding inside a fully self-driving car, according to AAA. 
The group has begun urging automakers to educate consumers about self-driving transportation. Human error causes more than 90% of crashes. However, many drivers still consider their driving skills better than average and do not want to hand control over to a machine. Americans are starting to feel more comfortable with the idea of self-driving vehicles, said Greg Brannon. He oversees all research and automotive testing for AAA. Compared to just a year ago, AAA found that 20 million more U.S. drivers would trust a self-driving vehicle to take them for a ride. Other companies are also exploring how to broadcast messages from self-driving vehicles to pedestrians. Self-driving cars can't understand everything. A Mountain View, California-based company known as Drive.ai launched a test program in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area. The driverless orange vehicles ferry people around an office park complex where about 10,000 people work, eat, and shop. The words self-driving vehicle wrap around their Nissan NV200 vans. The vehicles include outside panels with messages like, waiting for you to cross, instead of having a human driver make eye contact or wave on a person crossing the street. Company officials have pointed out that self-driving cars still do not understand complex situations. For example, they would not be able to understand a construction worker communicating with hand gestures. Jaguar Land Rover's intelligent pods have yet to venture into the real world. Instead, they operate on a fabricated street scene in Coventry, in England, the company said. How was this story for you? What new vocabulary did you learn or hear in this story? How do you feel about self-driving vehicles? Would you feel more comfortable? If you saw across the front of the self-driving car waiting for you to cross. As always, leave any comments, sentences down below the video. And until next time, students, bye.